back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our Survivor Series fantasy booking video. So you guys know we do fantasy booking videos here on the channel for every WWE pay-per-view, or at least I try to do so for every WWE pay-per-view. We've been off the prediction train. I haven't done a lot of predictions or anything like that for shows in a little bit now. Let me know if you guys missed those videos and my analysis of the product and stuff like that. I really don't know why. It's just, I, I don't know if I really enjoy those as much anymore, but if you guys want to see them come back, maybe we can make that happen. But here today, man, what we're going to do is in these videos, Vince McMahon basically hands the keys over to me and says, you know what, whatever you say goes, you know, I take over the company for a day. For the next couple months, I get to book out what's going to take place. And that's kind of what we're doing here today in the Survivor Series fantasy booking video. We're going to do things just like we always do here in the fantasy booking videos, man. So with all that said, let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today for my fantasy booking. So starting things off first, man, let's go ahead and just start off with Becky Lynch and Charlotte. You know, this has been one, it's kind of funny because when I first got these figures out, Becky Lynch was still wearing the SmackDown Women's Championship and Charlotte was still wearing the Raw Women's Championship and it made me laugh because of that god-awful title exchange deal and it just made me think about like, I had to do my own little title exchange right there and that just kind of reminded me of that moment. But Becky versus Charlotte, you know, Charlotte's in a lot of hot water. I heard that Becky Lynch is apparently in hot water too, so I really don't know what to expect. We may see some drama in this matchup. I, I think it's going to be a great match anytime these two lock up. It's a great match, but in my universe, man, I, I just just am not behind Charlotte whatsoever, man. She's dead. I just, I don't like it, man. I just, I, she's just trash. Good in the ring, robotic on the mic. One of the better women we've seen all time for sure, but I would have Becky go over Charlotte here. No buts about it. You know, it's, we've seen it before. Just give us a really good football game. Have Becky go over here and that be it. We don't need any craziness. Just go with that. As we move on forward, guys, let's get into RK Bro versus the Usos here. Now, this matchup right here, I'm really, really excited about. I think that both these teams are fantastic. Fantastic, but I think this is where we're going to see the crack in the armor, Brad. This is where I think I would book it. I think we're we're inevitably going to a Matt Riddle versus Randy Orton feud, right? And I think those matches are going to be incredible. But until we get there, man, we got to have them crack right now. They're they're the tag team champions. They look really good right here. We got both their figures looking nice right there. They don't match, but they look really good. So in my matchup, man, I would have the seeds planted. Maybe Matt Riddle accidentally hits Randy Orton. Maybe Randy Orton goes. For for an RKO on the Usos, ends up hitting Matt Riddle with an RKO, which is kind of weird because, like, how the hell does that even happen, right? How do you accidentally hit somebody with an RKO? Maybe that could be where Matt Riddle's like, how'd you accidentally hit me with an RKO? And Randy's like, you calling me a liar, bish? And then, bam, the cracks in the armor, and I think that is what I would start here. I'd start the cracks in the armor here. Usos go over RK Bro. Super kick, splashy dashy, there it is, and we would end up getting to a Matt Riddle versus Randy Orton feud, maybe going into Mania season right there at the Rumble, have them get into a spiffy at the rumble as well i mean that's that's pretty easy easy book it like it doesn't have to be so damn hard wwe just just take things one step at a time they write themselves for the most damn part just take a breath as we move forward guys we have shinsuke nakamura versus damian priest now i am not a big damian priest guy as trash corbin hits his face i'm not a big damian priest guy i think he's good in the ring i just i'm not behind him at this moment and i love shinsuke nakamura man but at this juncture i'd probably put over damian priest here i honestly forgot he was Intercontinental Champion. Like, when I was looking for the Intercontinental Champion for this video, I was like, oh my god, Shinsuke Nakamura is still Intercontinental Champion. You couldn't, I couldn't tell you one football game he had. I love Shinsuke, but the Intercontinental title has been dead for, for a little bit now, I feel. But, US Champion versus IC Champion, I think this match is gonna slap, but I just, at the end of the day, I think I'm gonna go Damian Priest over Nakamura. I just think Damian Priest could use the victory a lot more here as US Champion, build that championship a little bit up. Shinsuke's kinda down already. Don't think he really would take that much of a loss with another L, as bad as that sounds, but I think Damian Priest over Shinsuke there. It's kind of hard to get crazy creative booking in these first few matches because, you know, it's a cross-brand promotion. There's not a lot of, like, it's it's show versus show. It's not stuff happening on the roster itself, but we'll get into that. There is Damian Priest and Shinsuke Nakamura. That is what I would go there. Now, as we get into the good stuff, I don't know if this matchup's going to main event. Do you think the, the main event's going to be the big dog Roman Reigns Travel Chief versus Big E, or do you guys think that it'll be the traditional Survivor Series match? I honestly hope it's the Survivor Series matchup, but we'll have to see about that. Now, you're probably also thinking, where is the women for the women's Survivor Series matchup? And right now, my figures are all over the place. I'm in the middle of a big reorganization.
rotation here. Luckily, a lot of these guys were on my, my roster shelves, so I didn't have all of the women available to put in the video. So I do apologize for that, but we have Team Raw, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Queen Zelina taking on Team SmackDown and Sasha, Shayna, Shotzi, Natalya, and it to be announced. And I think Team Raw is pretty stacked. I don't like Vega that much. Carmella's kind of eh. I love that, you know, Liv Morgan's getting this opportunity. You got Ripley and Belair in there, which is very, very nice. SmackDown's looking a bit shoddy, honestly. And with Nia Jax just being recently released, I don't see her being the mystery, you know, partner there. And they may get the mystery partner this Friday, or they may have already announced that. I'm not sure. So for the mystery opponent for Team SmackDown, man, I mean, it's it's kind of difficult here. Uh, you know, both SmackDown teams have a mystery opponent or a mystery member of the team. I haven't read up on it. I don't know if they're going to announce that on Friday Night SmackDown. I don't know what's the deal there. I think I would probably plug, like, Naomi in there. I feel like Naomi would be really good in that spot, unless she's hurt or something. And then I think I would either do that or I would plug in an NXT call-up. I feel like that would probably be the best thing to do because there's a ton of talented women in NXT right now that could use that spot and, you know, make a, make a name for themselves right there. But I guess if it's me booking it, I'd just go with Naomi. I, it doesn't matter because I have Team Raw winning and I would have Liv Morgan as the sole survivor. I'd have her be the big up-and-coming member that would kind of make a statement there for, for, you know, generations to come, kind of. So I'd have Liv Morgan as the sole survivor of the women's match. I think that'd be pretty solid. Have her build some more momentum as she's gained. She has a ton of fandom. She's gotten better. I think we should continue that ride and have Liv Morgan as the sole survivor. So getting back into this matchup, man, we have the WWE Champion and the Universal Champion Roman Reigns. I mean, dude, it sucks for Big E, but Tribal Chief's going over. Tribal Chief is going over. However, this is why I think this matchup is going to main event. If you guys did not know, this Survivor Series marks the 25th anniversary of The Rock's debut. And you guys know the Build the Mania is coming. And whether it's in person or on the Jumbotron, I think we see old Dwayne Football Johnson. Dwayne Johnson shows up up. Big E gets defeated by Roman. I mean, I guess The Rock could show up and, and make the match DQ, but that would be kind of crap. I think Roman should get the extra momentum, defeat Big E, and then The Rock show up in some way. Rock bottom, people's elbow, or The Rock can show up on the Jumbotron and do the same thing. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I think this is our matchup that we're going to be setting up for WrestleMania 38 and possibly WrestleMania 39, but I think The Rock and Roman Reigns does it right there. That That's, I mean, yeah, I, I have The Rock showing up, beating some candy ass, and this is going to be your matchup right there. So I have The Rock showing up, rock bottom, doing all the things, Universal Championship at WrestleMania. Now, getting into the final matchup, even though I did just book the main event that I think is going to take place, I'm going to dive into the men's survivor series so if you guys did not know the raw team is stacked as hell bro raw team is stacked all my favorite guys on it or three of my favorite guys so you have seth rollins you have finn Balor, you have kevin owens you have bobby lashley who i who i do like a lot even though i know i call him bobby trashley i was a huge fan as a kid and surprising enough austin theory now austin theory is one of those guys that i think they're gonna try to book as like the next big thing or like the next up and coming guy if you guys did not know i'm not a big austin in theory guy, but they, uh, I think they like him a lot, and they're going to try and push him here, and I think he's going to have a solid performance here, and this is just kind of his rise right now, but here's our Survivor Series matchup. Team Raw, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, and Austin Theory taking on Team SmackDown and Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin, which is so stupid of a name. It's Trash Corbin around these parts, and then the To Be Announced, which there's a lot of guys that it could be. I know I'm fantasy booking this thing, so, I mean, you got guys like Cesaro. You got guys like like Jinder Mahal, you got Ricochet, you got Sheamus, you have Sami Zayn, Kofi Kingston. Lots of different things going on, man. I feel like WWE is going to put Von Wagner in there, which is just so stupid. I think they're going to put Von Wagner in this spot, but I think I think I would go with like a I would go with a Mustafa Ali. I would fill this in with Mustafa Ali. You got a great team of underdogs right here versus a powerhouse team. I honestly think this matchup is going to slap. I think it is going to deliver on every single aspect, but you got guys know if I'm fantasy booking this thing I'm having Team Raw get this dub now I don't like Raw as a brand I feel like they have not produced good television in a long long time it used to be the A show now it's like the F minus show but but putting my bias aside and trying to book this logically I think this is how I would do it man I think that since Team Raw won the women's with Liv Morgan as a sole survivor I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm going to do it Team Smackdown style and I'm gonna have Jeff Hardy Jeff Hardy is going to be 
my sole survivor in this thing. He is going to outlast this thing, maybe last eliminating Bobby Lashley or something like that. Everybody doesn't believe, maybe it could be like KO. Maybe it could be like Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, and KO is the final three, and it's like three on three on two with him and Drew McIntyre. They end up taking out Drew McIntyre. It's Jeff Hardy three on one, and he, he just stance by stance takes out the rest of the team. Jeff Hardy is your sole survivor, giving him a great opportunity to go into the beginning of the year where Jeff Hardy will be number one contender for Roman Reigns as we build to the Royal Rumble. I think that's going to be our matchup for Royal Rumble. I think we're going to have Jeff Hardy and Roman Reigns go war at Royal Rumble, and this would be a great build to that. Having Jeff Hardy as your sole survivor and having him defeat Team Raw there, kind of by his lonesome. He's always been the underdog, and I think that'd be a pretty nice deal right there. So Jeff Hardy is your sole survivor, defeats Team Raw at the end of the day. He's your last sole survivor, and we have two kind of underdog stories in our, in our Survivor Series, and that will build up Jeff perfectly for his challenge with Roman Reigns. Great fantasy matchup, great dream match, but Roman Reigns will probably end up beating Jeff anyways, but that's that's, I think it'd be nice to see Jeff toss him a bone there, get him the Royal Rumble matchup. Roman Reigns versus Jeff, Soul Survivor, that's all the deals, man. But that's going to wrap up my fantasy booking video for Survivor Series 2021, man. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what your fantasy booking ideas are. Didn't spend like a ton of time booking this out, but, you know, I thought it was made for a pretty good fantasy booking job. You guys can let me know. Not anything I'd say out of the ordinary. I think all of this is definitely plausible, but we'll have to see, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and don't cross the line like me when I left all the women out. When I left out all the women from the Survivor Series match in this video. You crossed the line I've been